What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a choice band thing loot team that also features a fan favorite, Cerulege. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content and time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on now. Click that big red subscribe button, join the Genius community. But in our last Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ranked double video, we actually went 3-0. We grabbed ourselves a perfect record. So we're looking to continue on with that energy and try to grab ourselves some more wins in this video. But Obama Snow is going to be our first Pokemon for today's scene preview. And Obama Snow, you've been seeing a lot of, considering it is a great weather control Pokemon. And on top of that, it can set up a War Veil. It has Light Clay as its item, Blizzard, Leaf Storm, a War Veil, and Protect for its four moves. We got Bronzong in our second slot, and Bronzong is going to be good for Trick Room purposes. It can set up Trick Room, it can also cancel out Trick Room, so we have kind of the best of both worlds with Bronzong. He's got Levitate, the Safety Goggles, and then he's rocking Body Press, Gyro Ball, Trick Room, and Iron Defense to give it a plus two boost on that physical defense stat. We got Cerulege in our third slot, and I love Cerulege. I absolutely love his design, I love his typing, I love everything about this Pokemon. It has Flash Fire, the Clear Amulet as its item, and then probably the best move set for any Cerule Edge. It's going to be Bitter Blade, Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, Sword Stance, and Protect. Third slot, or not third slot, fourth slot is going to be that Choice Band Ting Lu that we mentioned in the beginning of the video. And Ting Lu is that guy. Ting Lu lowers special attack all across the field, so if you're going up against like a Chi Yu team or like a Fluttermain team, team Ting Lu is going to be that Pokemon. This one has the Vessels of Ruin as its ability, Rock and the Choice Band as item, and then a great move set of Stomping Tantrum, EQ, Throat Chop, and Rock Slide. Fifth slot is going to be a top tier special attacker. It is going to be the Iron Bundle. Everything's pretty normal on this Pokemon, but it is the Blizzard one, so you can pair it up with the Bomb Snow, get rocking out with that. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Bibliothon, a bug Pokemon that you don't see too much on the rank ladder. I've seen it maybe like once or twice, but it is really, really strong. It has Friend Guard as its ability, the Focus Hash as its item. Then it's rocking Pollen Puff for stab damage and HP recovery on allied Pokemon, Tailwind, Rage Powder, and Protect. Guys, if you want to run the scene for yourself, run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to continue our tear with this Cerule Edge and Choice Band Ting Lu team. First match on its way, we're going up against a Shen Pao Dragonite team, alongside with Fluttermane, Ting Lu, just like us, and then they got Iron Hands and Amuga. So their team is basically going to be surrounded by that Shen Pao and that dragon first turn priority is going to be their best friend so how should we play this one how should we get after it not too sure i kind of want to go into like ting lu i don't think ting lu would be bad the only problem is they got so many physical attackers physical attackers is a little bit of a problem for us right shen pao and dragonite are a huge problem for us i kind of want to maybe just go obama snow alongside with my boy deli bird i think that could be really good especially if we can get off a war bell so if we can get that off, I feel like we can definitely be thriving. So I'm going to end up leading them too. I'm going to bring Cerulege in the back end, and then I just might have Ting Lu out here. Like, Speed Control is not going to do too much, considering, like, again, first turn priority is going to be the best friend. So we want to be able to outbulk our opponent and get off some big damage. So I think a War Veil and a Pokemon like Ting Lu in the back end can be really, really good. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. It seems as Shin Pao and Dragonite are going to be a problem. That's why I wish I was using a Frigoraph team right now. I don't know why that popped in my head, but I love Frigoraph. So good, but Shen Pao can obviously kill it unless you Terrastalize. But most of the time when I use Frigoraph, I just Terrastalize in Series 3, and it's been working very, very well for me. So we'll see who they want to lead here. It's going to be Dragonite and Tinglu, which I don't really mind too much. It's I. Right. I mean, Tinglu's going to lower that special attack, but from here we can drop free Blizzards, and we get off an Aurora Belt, which is really, really good. I think Aurora Belt's going to be pretty much free, because Tinglu should be slowest on the field. So I cork drive up, and we're going to get after it. I'm going to Terrastalize the Iron B if I want to, but Aurora Veil, again, going to be your friend. So I'll set up the Aurora Veil, and I just think Blizzard's so free, right? It's so free. They got Terrastalize one Pokemon, the other one's going to take super effective damage. But again, Ting Loop being on the field, slight, slight problem, right? Slight problem. We could double down into it next turn. Probably roll out with Blizzard after this, but again, if we can get off this Aurora Veil with Light Clay, eight turns of that, big time for us. That's big time. So he ends up hard swapping the Dragonite, and who are you going to go into? Who are you going to go into? Which Pokemon? It's going to be Iron Hands. So he wants Iron Hands to come out here. I don't mind that too much. And probably Terrasize Tinglu. Yep, there it is. They Terrasize Tinglu. That's a pretty smart play. And they do have Fake Out. They can Fake me out, actually. He ends up going into Straight Fire. Hopefully you're not Rocket Terra Blast. I mean, I can Hydro Pump you down next turn. But we'll see what they want to do here. 
Blizzard's gonna fly here. Give me some freezes. Throw me some nice, nice solid freezes around here. No freezes, but again, War Bell is here. War Bell's our best friend. We get off that lovely War Bell. No Terror Blast, no Terror Blast. Rock Slide flies to there. Chalking up a little bit of damage, but again, War Bell's our best friend. So I am scared of the fake out. I am just gonna drop a Blizzard into that slot, and I might just protect you, right? Hits Rasslides and Ice. Um, I think I'm just gonna protect Iron Bundle. He's gonna fake out, and I think double down into him, so. I just think it's our best bet. Cause he knows we're rocking like Hydro Pump or something. He's gotta fake me out, unless he's a non fake out Iron Hands. But the sheer fact of him swapping the Dragonite for the Iron Hands leads me to think that he wants to get out off a of fake out turn. So that's gonna be my play. I'm just gonna protect the Iron Bundle. And then next turn, I'll throw, I'll throw a nice little Hydro Pump in that slot. Try to get rid of that. I could Terrasalize my boy. I could Terrasalize the Iron Bundle because a Wild Charge could also come out here. But he's just gonna end up protecting. Okay. I think this turn's gonna be like a, a free hits for us, right? Because I think Iron Hand's going after my Iron B. Leave him alone. Or we can just get a freeze and you know, just stop this nonsense, right? Or he goes for a Dream Punch. Okay. So, Terrasalizing is not gonna be your friend. I still feel as. We go into a Blizzard. And do we want to hard swap this thing? I could hard swap into Ting Lu. I could hard swap into Ting Lu with the choice ban. And then the ground moves can do some big time damage. So we could save our Iron Bundle, which I think I like a lot. I think I like that a lot. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. We're super effective on the both. We got EQs, Raid Roll. I'm cool with that. So I'll take out my RMB. We do have the Roar Bell right now, so that should be chilling. I know Drain Punch is going to do a little bit of damage to me, but still. The Roar Bell is going to help us out here. It's going to be our best friend. Blizzard's going to end up moving. Give me some Freeze. It's time for a Freeze. We've been Blizzarding a lot here. And we still don't get the Freeze, man. Again, Drain Punch chucking up some damage. I don't see you killing my Ting Lu. Don't see it happening. And I throw a Chops Uncle across here. So that's cool. So I am going to opt to uh, Terrasalize my Ting Lu. And I'm just going to protect you and pop EQs. My best bet. EQs are flowing. They're going to flow here. We're choice banding into them. Um, I think we should be fine even if you double down into my Ting Lu here. Because we took most of the damage from that Drain Punch. But if we just try to slice in the ground, we'll be neutral to it. We'll be able to soak pretty well. And again, EQ should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. So I'm ready to try to slice my boy. I'm ready to get after him. He might even hard swap his Ting Lu, which would be probably the smarter play. But we'll see. Hopefully he just stays in here because I would love to just start ripping into it. This is a solid battle. This is a really good match. Really good first match so far. Long drawn out. I feel like Team Lu battles are always like that, right? So we'll see who they want to go into. They're going to stay. They're going to opt to stay in the battle, which I love. I love. I was playing off of that, so I love that. I love that he's staying in there. We are going to Thrasalize our Ting Lu. I don't think they know we're Choice Ban, which is awesome. So we should be able to do a nice chunk of damage onto their Pokemon. Hopefully my Ting Lu outspeeds their Ting Lu. But I end up just straight up protecting my Abamas now. I'm chilling out with him. Let's see what they end up going into. Oh, we outspeed him, which is awesome. EQ's going to fly here. Choice Ban, Stab, Thrasalize, super effective. This should be able to do some nice damage on the both these guys. I know they're rather bulky, but let's see how much damage we do. Double kill, that was... Money. Money play from your boy Gene swapping out the iron bundle into the Ting Lu. And this thing's ripping. This thing's doing damage. This thing's doing damage. And now we have iron bundle in the back end, which is huge. So again, my plan in the beginning was to just start out bulking these guys, get this Aurora Veil off. We did that. We made a great swap, great call at the right time. That pretty much does this really well. It's a huge, huge, huge place for us. So now he's going to go in the Dragonite and he's going to go into his final Pokemon, which is going to be the Shen Pao. So Shen Pao, Dragonite come out here. Um, definitely got to go for the Blizzard. And I do not have Protect. I do have EQ, but I mean, you're going to do some crazy damage to me. Do I just let Ting Lu go down here? I mean, Ting Lu's really not doing much here. I mean, I'll definitely choice it to the EQ if we can land it. It'd be nice, but I think he KOs me with like an Ice Spinner or something like that. So we'll see. He has no Terrasalization. We still have the Iron B in the back end. Sucker Punch is a little scary, but I gotta see how many turns left in our hour of War of Bell. This match, again, this match is gonna be really, really close. It's still gonna be really, really close because I feel like he's gonna pick up some KOs here. We're just hoping we can eat up an Ice Spinner, but I don't think we can. I really don't think we can. 
I'd love to get rid of multi scale, but he ends up protecting the Shen Pao, which is a little weird here, right? Unless you're double protecting. You're not. My boy survives. That's a lucky focus ash, which we'll take all day. Considering we get off multi scale, that just makes my turn. It just made my turn. So we get rid of the multi scale. Cool. And how many turns is left in Veil? I kind of need to know because, again, first turn priority does me a little dirty. Does me just a tad bit dirty. I EQ and I'm going to KO my bomb. So, I mean, it's I. I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, I wish we can check the turns of, like, a war bell and all that while we can. I guess we can't. I wish we could check it from this screen, right? But I'm going to go into Iron Bundle regardless. I mean, we have this Pokemon. But Sucker Punch... A little scary. We don't have Terra. So I'm just going to go into you. I'm going to go into Iron Bundle here. The snow. Is the snow gone? The snow is gone. That kind of hurts soul because I really want the Blizzard. But from here, I guess I'll just freeze dry you. I mean, I could end up protecting, but freeze dry EQ's got to be your play, right? Do I protect the bundle? I don't think I protect the bundle. I think I got to get off work here. I think I gotta get work. I think he might double down to my bundle. He might not think I'm gonna protect, so it's such a good battle. Ice Spinner does come across this way. That might KO me, probably does, right? No, we eat up. We eat up. Iron Bundle's gonna go for the freeze dry. This will KO you. That's big time, and that pretty much locks up the match, right? Cool. I'm surprised he didn't go for any first turn priority moves there. I am very, very surprised. No E speeds or anything. EQ's gonna fly now. Our, our, our Iron Bundle should be able to survive that. Do some nice damage to Shen Pao. And yeah, it's game set match. Cool. Actually, is it game set match? Yeah, it is game set match. It is game set match. And the reason I say it's game set match is because we have Cerule Edge coming in hot here with a Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak will KO. But if he sucker punches me, then my EQ is just going to land. He has no double hitting moves. So, yeah, that's game set match. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm surprised that EQ killed me regardless. But still, Ting Lu getting work done here in match number one. Really, really solid match. He ends up just protecting... I just lost. I just lost. What just happened? No way I just got outplayed like that. I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say. I didn't even think that was a possibility. I killed three of my Pokemon in this battle. <laughs> no way. I'm like stunned. I'm stunned because we outplayed our opponent so much, but they just made that last second play. I think that was like a last ditch effort. God, I hate being choice banned. We're going to lose this match. Even though I played 10 times better than our opponent. I'll give him a round of applause for that, but we're going to start off 0-1. That hurts the soul. I'm sorry for that one, guys, but hey, we played really, really well there. That's just that's just a heartbreaker right there. I honestly did not think that was a possibility in that last match. I really did not think there was a chance we lose that. But look at this. Mirror match up here, match number two. We're going to put that one behind us, but again, I played super well there. I made some great calls, great reads, all that good stuff, but it's all good. We'll, we'll make up for it here with this mirror matchup. Same exact team, same exact rental code. We know what they have. Let's get after it. Let's do this. Um, Ting Lu probably going to be a solid choice for us. I really do like the choice band on him. So I might want to end up leading him. Do I want to lead him? Maybe. I could set up a Roar Veil. Roar Veil is going to be our best friend. So I am going to go into uh, going to my boy here. What's your terror type? It is water for it. I can work well up against Cerule Edge. But I could actually go Cerule Edge, try to set up Sword Dance, and get after it that way. That is a possibility. I might go these two. I'm going to go Ting Lu and Deli Bird. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's rip it. Let's rip it. Dude, I'm so upset we lost that last match. I was like talking. I was like, oh, okay, this match is over. We got to unlock. And I didn't even think of the possibility that he could protect. I could KO my own Pokemon. And then he could just wipe me out. That was wild. That was wild. I should have thought of that. But again, that's like the first time it ever happened to me. But they end up going Vivlion and Ting Lu. Which, ah... Uh, we know Vivlion is sashed. We do know Vivlion is sashed. Um, hmm. 
I could terrestrialize my Cerule Edge in the grass, which I think is going to be my best play. And I think we just double down to Vivian because we really don't want to give him speed, right? I could go a Warville here, but I think doubling down and not allowing him to have speed and maybe setting up a Warville next turn is going to be our best play. So we'll see what they want to do. We shall see. And the reason we're terrestrializing the grass is because we don't we don't feel like taking a, a ground move or like an EQ up against this team, really, right? EQ could definitely fly free here. That Vivian is flying type. So we're just going to terrestrialize the Shrew Edge. So we know exactly what they have. And you just end up out speeding me. I doubled down into you. I should have... I should have just, uh... I should have just set up a Roar Bell. The Tailwind is going to be best friend. So let's still take a nice chunk of damage. We are going to get back all of our HP. Which is huge. And on top of that, we will pick up a KO on the Biblion. And do some damage on Tingling. Maybe we get a Freeze. We didn't get a Freeze last match. And we used it, like, the whole time. Yeah, I would love to set up a Roar Bell here. We get off some nice damage. Give me the Freeze. It's time for the Freeze. No freeze, man. Come on with that. So they got some speed. I could definitely see their Cerule Edge coming out here, which could be bad. Could be real bad. No, it's just going to be Bronze on. It's just going to be Bronze on. And what is Bronze? I don't know our Bronze on's Terror type. Actually, I might have it. I might have it. I don't know our Bronze on's Terror type. I honestly forget. Let's see if I can pull it up. I know I have this team safe because I'm using it right now. What is that Bronzong terror type? Bronzong. I don't think I pulled up quick enough. But yeah, Bronzong. Bronzong's terror type is going to be fairy. It's going to be fairy. And I feel like he's going to us in the fairy regardless. I might just sword dance here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sword dance. I'm going to set up an award mail. I'm going to let him do his thing. He's going to withdraw Ting Lu. This should be a solid turn for us. Cerule Edge of his own is coming in here. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Because I get off a free Swords Dance. I can Shadow Sneak into him if I want to. And he's gonna, just going to stay in here with Ting Lu. Or not Ting Lu. With Bronzom. And I wonder what Bronze is going to do. They have Tailwind up. I highly doubt he pops Trigger. Maybe Iron Defense? No, he's just going to Body Press me. I'm cool with that. So we got the Veil off. We have Swords Dance ready to roll. Um... He can't hit me with a fire move, which is really, really good. So I think just going after Bronze is going to be my play. And maybe just on top of that, throwing Blizzards across the board. I think that's my play. So we got a War Bell for plenty of time here. And out comes Terrasilize from that. Probably going to be Surge if I, if I had to guess. And cool, I'm going for a Bitter Blade in the Bronze on side. So we're both going Grass here. Uh, he's probably going to take me out with a Bitter Blade. I was going to go for a Shadow Sneak, but I figured he would Terrasilize. But Bitter Blade's gonna come out. Are you going after me? I have Flash Fire. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Come on, man. You gotta know I have Flash Fire. I'm using the same team as you. But yeah, I'm pretty bulked up here. I'm plus two Swords Dance. My Cerule Edge is ripping. And like I said, I'll make a, I'll make up for our first first battle mistakes in this match. But Blizzard now super effective on the uh, Cerule Edge, and we just get off a huge chunk of damage. Huge chunk of damage. So now Ting Lu comes out here. Uh, I feel like at this point, we should just... Hmm. We should just Bitter Blade him down. But I think we could just Shadow Sneak you. Try to finish you off, and on top of that, just protect my Obama Snow. But Shredge ends up protecting. Okay, cool. That's fine, I guess. That is fine, I guess. I'm surprised he didn't just, like, Bitter Blade. It really makes no sense to just not Bitter Blade my Obama Snow down. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's probably going for the EQs, right? I don't even know. Probably not. Maybe Rock Slide? No, probably Throat Chop. Nope, Rock Slide it is. So we know exactly what he has. They know exactly what we have. And we're just outplaying at this point. The Roar Bell is helping us out tremendously. Tailwind is finally gone. Um, I still think I Shadow Sneak. Because it's a speed tie. It's a speed tie, 100%. So I'm just going to do that. I am going to Blizzard on top of that. Just in case that uh, Sredge survives. But Sredge goes for Double Protect. And now it's game set match. Game set match. We're playing so good today. Can't believe we're one and one. We should be two and zero. We're gonna be one and one. Upset. I'm still upset. That one hurts. You guys are probably all laughing at me in the comment section down below. Go ahead, laugh it up. I KO'd three of my Pokemon in match number one. But one of them was purposeful, and the second one went on the Deli Bird. I didn't think it was gonna KO him. I think I critted my Deli Bird. I'm not even gonna lie. Which kind of hurts us all. 
But he ends up dropping another Rock Slide. And this one, is this a sweep? Did we lose a Pokemon? This one's going to be a sweep. So like I said, I got you guys. I'll make up for my mistakes. Sweeping match number two. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They probably just canceled battle. But yeah, we played that one really, really well. But there it is. One and one. Let's go grab ourselves a win your record in match number three. Final match is on its way. We're going up against a Dun Dun Sparse team. Really, really cool Pokemon. Haven't used it on the rank ladder. Kind of annoyed at its evolution, considering they could have made Dun Sparse have a very cool evolution. But they kind of just like threw us something ugly. Like they were just like, screw you. You guys always want Dun Sparse to get evolution. How about a bigger Dun Sparse? And yeah, uh, it, it's lame. It's definitely lame. But it's kind of funny at the same time. But we're going up against the Trick Room team here. They got the uh, the Rangaroo. The Brute Bonnet, the Torkoal, Ting Lu, the Dunsparce, and indeed, I mean, Bronzong is going to be great here. So I might just end up leading Bronzong, trying to get off some things. But a problem is going to be Torkoal. Torkoal is just a little bit of a problem. But I'm going to lead Ting Lu, and I'm going to lead lead my uh, Bronzong. So both of them are going to come in here. I think Surreal Edge can be pretty solid here. Aurora Veil could be good, but I think just having maybe Delibird in the back end could also be really good for us. So I'm going to end up bringing it. Vivian is not going to be showcased in today's video, but it's all good. It is all good. We're looking for a win here. Man, we should be 2-0. Should be 2-0. Let's see. Clod Sire as the picture. I love Clod Sire. <laughs> I just want to get like a giant plush of Clod Sire. Just like hug up. I think sick. But a Rangaroo and Dun Dun Sparse can come here. I'm going to end up leading my boys. Um, I don't know too much about Dun Dun Sparse, right? I really don't. Let me actually just like see this thing. I think it's a normal type. It is. It is. So body press is going to be your best friend. But I think Iron Defense first turn is going to be huge. And then we could just choice into a throw chop, which I think is going to be our play here. I doubt he ends up Terrasalizing. Maybe Dun Dun Sparse, if anything. But I highly doubt a Rank with its Terrasalization. So choice into throw chop is going to be our friend. And there it is. See you later, Rangaroo. Man, Choice Banting Loop rips. He rips. He plays no games. He plays no games. So he's setting up boost. I'm going to set up boost. And I'm going to attack you next turn. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you, Dun Dun Sparse. I'm not playing games. You want to set up boost? I can set him up too. I can do the exact same thing. So my Bronzong came to play here. Came to play here in match number, match number two. So Al's going to come Torkoal, and that really hurts. That really, really hurts. I mean, I do have Fairy Terra, which I might have to do here. I think I have to do that, and I'm just going to Body Press into you. I mean, it kind of sucks because I'm Choice Band, and I kind of want to swap into, like, a Flash Fire Rule Edge. Probably my best bet, right? Just for the reason being... Hmm... This could be bad. This could be bad, but I need I need my choice band to reset. I need my choice band. I need my EQ. I need EQ because once I get out Tinglu, Tinglu can just rip into that tool. Get out speed it. There's no trick him out on the field, and it's really really big. So I'm gonna end up Terrasalize my Bronzong. I really don't want it to die in one shot. I would love to get off a body press on that stat boosted the Dunsparce. So Terrasalize and to eat up this shot is probably a good call for us, even though it can still maybe KO us. Rock Side's gonna come out here. That's a little scary. That does a bit too much damage. Critical hits my Cerule Edge. And my Bronzong flinches. Ah! My Bronzong flinches. That hurts. I'm gonna body press you again. I could just protect you for now. Actually, I could just Bitter Blade. I'm gonna double down to Dunsparce. I doubt he protects it. Cool. But I want some HP back. I wanna get rid of this thing. Want a little bit of HP back. The Dunsparce is probably going to KO me. I maybe should have just protected it. But Rock Slide's going to connect. KO my Screw Edge all day. My Bronzong is able to eat. And if my Bronzong can land his body press here, no more flinches, we should be sitting in a good position. Bronzong, what are you doing? What are you doing? Two flinches? The Dunsparce should be dead. He should be gone. Come on with that. That ain't cool. That ain't right. Now, I don't think I could choice an EQ. I mean, I could. I mean, I could, but is that the play? Is that the play? His special defense is abusive, so I might just want to freeze right in that slot and stop the tantrum over onto the Torkoal side. My heart, man. The Thunsparce should be gone. Should definitely be gone. 
No trick rooms here. We have speed. Well, at least my, my boy does have speed. But I'm just going to go into freeze dry into, the, the, into the, the Dunspar slot. And then hopefully you don't have any... Yeah, you don't have any Pokemon with like Levity. And I think your last Pokemon would be... Would be, if anybody, it would be Ting Lu. A free shot is going to poke out here. Can, can this just straight up KO? It doesn't. Heart, man. Stopping Tantrum. Can you KO? You do. Cool. So Stopping Tantrum comes in hot here. We do get a crit, but still, the Dunspar should be gone. And it kind of hurts that it's still on the field because I feel like it's got something up its sleeve here. It's going to be a rock slide. So maybe it's not choice, but still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. So Ting Lu's not too worried about the, the, the Dunspars. He's gonna bring out Ting Lu of his own. And how many turns left in his son? Because son's a little bit of a problem. They got two. So I think I just protect my Deli Bird here. And stopping Tantrum, I don't think it's gonna KO. We're gonna hope that it KOs the, the, the Dunsparce. I'm really gonna hope it does. Kinda need to get rid of this thing. It's accuracy boost. I think Rockside lands 100% of the time here. Um, it's defense boost, it's attack boost for Coil. Coil's just a solid, solid damage boosting move, right? But come on, man. We're getting ripped here by RNG. And up to Rasslize into Ting Lu. Into what typing? Into what typing? Straight ground. Okay. Oh, man. This one's going to be... I need this to pretty much KO here, right? I pretty much need to stop against some KO. Unless you're protecting the Dunsparce. You do not... Can this KO you? Let's go. That's big time. That's big time KO. So we pick up a big time KO. Hopefully he's going for a singular move into my bird. But no, he has, he has to go for the EQ, which eh, it's okay. So now I can hit that thing with a freeze dry. Chunk up some nice damage. Keep going for stopping catchers. How much damage is this going to be to move? Wow. Another one KOs. I think we lost this one. Freeze dry into stopping catchers. go let's run it let's run it freeze dry popping out here how much damage is this doing crit would have been big time but yeah i think eq just finishes us off stop the catch i'm gonna fly here not enough damage we need one more turn here and eq is just dominating us i'm hurting man i'm hurting on this loss both are losses. This one we lost to RNG, which is just ridiculous. But the first match was a great play by our opponent. But again, we played amazing in all three battles, and I absolutely love this team. That might have been our best losing record video of all time. I played out of my mind. I played so good, but our two losses really, really hurt. Again, the third and final match, we lost a little bit of RNG. Then that first match, our opponent made a great play at the end, but I killed three of my Pokemon, which is wild. I kind of got ahead of myself in match number one, so I'll count that one as lost, but that third one, come on, man, come on, flinches, back to back, really, really annoying, but guys, that is going to be it for today's video, if you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button, so you know when all of my videos go live, seriously, you guys rock out, make sure you spread some positive today, I'll catch you on the next one, peace out, everybody.